Chicago experiencing its worst violence following the protests of the death of George Floyd. Hundreds of looters descending on the city's magnificent mile, stealing from stores and clashing with police. Garrett Tenney has more from Chicago. Violence flaring up again on the streets of Chicago Sunday night. Hundreds of people smashing windows and looting from businesses in the famous Magnificent Mile area, eventually leading to clashes with police, including at least one person shooting at law enforcement and cops returning fire. This was not an organized protest. Rather, this was an incident of pure criminality. This was an act of violence against our police officers. It's not clear if this was a coordinated effort, but cars and trucks were seen dropping people off after the looting started. Police immediately shutting down the downtown area, suspending bus and train service and closing down bridges. Officials aren't sure what sparked the looting, but it could be connected to a police shooting hours earlier in a different part of the city. Police say they were forced to defend themselves while chasing a suspect, but witnesses tell a different story. During the foot pursuit, the offender turned and fired shots at the officers. The officer shot the man again, even when he told them I'm down. The cleanup is now underway and there is a heavy police presence here. Officials say they won't let the violence spiral out of control. To those who engage in this criminal behavior, let's be clear. We are coming for you and we intend to hold you accountable for your actions. And many of these same stores were hit by looters less than three months ago during protests sparked by the death of George Floyd.